As we were travelling around England, we kept on seeing signs and we didn't understand what they were about. Turns out they were about a protest march. The day that we were in London, there were 400,000 protesters who bust in from all over the country, filling up the streets of London and marching past Buckingham Palace. Next I went to the Cuddy Sark. Sark is a type of women's nightgown. The next day I caught the train out to Oxford. After I got off the train, I went down to the tourist office and I joined a walking tour. Spent two hours wandering around the lovely streets of Oxford. I have four ancestors from Oxford between the years 1122 and 1330. Of these, the most famous is John Lackland, King of England. He's my 25th great-grandfather, born in 1122 and died in 1216. Oxford University is quite different to most modern universities. The university itself is only the board that sets the exams and runs the exams. The colleges do all the teaching and it's the colleges that you pay for the tutors. I'm now at the Museum of Natural History in Oxford. One of the things I quite liked about these British museums is that you're allowed to take photos inside the museum. Upstairs they had quite a large collection of Iron Age weapons and armour. This armour is Roman ceremonial armour. Well, this is the inside of Worcester College in Oxford. Tourism has become quite an issue in Oxford, and whereas before you could just enter the colleges, now there's only very strict opening times and many of them charge for entry. Down on the old canal, there was kind of like a shanty town full of old river boats. Returning to London, the next day I spent the morning at work. Nearby was Wisley Chapel. And this is the inside of Wisley Chapel. I then wandered down to the British National Museum, full of the plunder and loot gained while the British Empire ruled the world. It's now Wednesday the 25th of September, the day before I return. This is Soho Square. I've had to travel in during the public transport strike for the Tube, and I made it in in one hour, which is only twice the time it should take on the bus, which is full. These little dolphins on the poles are from a Danish myth from the Baltic Sea. And here is a picture of some boats heading downstream. As you can see, they're actually fighting against the current, very strong. I met up with Wendy again at Shakespeare's Globe. Here we saw Twelfth Night, which I've never seen before. It was one of the best Shakespeare shows I've ever seen. They do it as authentically as possible and the actors are very good. Leaving Shakespeare's Globe, I then wandered back through the streets to return to Acton. And thus my trip in England was at an end.